it's also interesting to know how much force going. If when it's negative, it's M1. When it's positive, it's the big tone himself. When I was uh, in Ispo, I got the opportunity to uh, get a little system to uh, to analyze the pressure under the foot uh, during skating. So I did few movement uh, to see. Uh, this analyze and uh, here I take the opportunity to explain you uh, with the video I already made. So the first part concerns uh, the moment when I land uh, my skate. You can see clearly that the pressure is appearing in the front of the skate. Like when I land, uh, I like to land the skate with the front part first. So this is uh, showing this at uh, this moment. During the outside edge part, you can see that most of the pressure is going on the outside part of the skate. And uh, basically go from the front to uh, the back part. It's really uh, taking a lot of space. Uh, all over the outside part of the foot. This uh, moment on the graphic uh, is the moment after the outside edge when uh, I transfer my uh, body weight back to the inside. So you can see uh, how the pressure stay uh, in most of the foot. Uh, it's important to keep a big pressure at this moment just uh, because you have to push uh, right after. So next part, next part is uh, the push, one of the most important moments. As you can see on the graphic, uh, the pressure is a little more intense, and uh, it really, I try to really keep my pressure in the back of the foot. So the the uh, the hardest part in this moment is to be able to keep this pressure in the back part of the foot. But uh, on the video, you can see it's still there and it stays quite long. Last detail on this video is when I lift uh, my skate. So you see the pressure is uh, going uh, quite late uh, in the front of the skate and then uh, it's uh, going away and the pressure disappears before I can bring back my skate. <laughs> 